guys, welcome back to my channel. Today or tonight, we're going to be playing Life is Strange, which is going to be the next gaming series, like I mentioned in my last video. So let's jump into it. Alright, so I played Life is Strange back in high school. Um, a friend and I played it, like, we both played it, we would always talk about it, and we loved it. And I'm excited to play it again. I really enjoyed this game. One of my favorite games I've ever played. It was also one of the first like decision making games I've played like seriously. I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into it because the story is just really sweet and the characters were great. They were great. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Don't you love when like, you read right now? So surreal. Uh, famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. You know, I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. W Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? That's a I nice can picture. hear the class laughing at me now. I think that's a nice picture. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I can't like believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. She saw humanity is tortured, but right? I like it old school. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. My Keep little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could do that to me. I do love my analog camera. Isn't that too? I should take a quick picture now. Obvious. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids That's call so a awkward. selfie, <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. 
Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? I did know. <laughs> I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh no! Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's <laughs> faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Well, they're all so rude. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. $5,299. She got money. With this camera. Photo, so. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Right. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out Rachel Amber forever. No who what she took what she said, you're, now you're totally in the retro zone. A sad face. Everyone. <laughs> I also want everybody was it to that funny? That this photographic was it really that funny? Not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye and... Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Talking smack. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars so avoid cool. handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred dollars. Welcome to the real world. Cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Chang Flag. Just because Max wanted everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Is she talking about her? Why is she talking about Max like that? And her face. What is wrong with the people at this school? Episode one, Christmas. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. American girls, it's sad too. 
<laughs> the way you just push past, say excuse me. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Lauren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Right. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Good for you, Stella. It looks like she's been gone for months. Rachel Amber. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. More missing person posters for Rachel Amber. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> Rachel Amber. Now who would bother to write that crap? Is a bitch. They wrote that about a missing girl, oh my god. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> I got my flu shot for the first time this year. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I hate Victoria Chase. I hate her too after that classroom mess. This poster must drive people to have sex. Kate twerks for God. Ew, why is this school so mean? Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Why is he in the girls' restroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. 
You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to... Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why harvest? Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? A lit. You I was like, oh, this Don't is freak out. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep image it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of the When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. Can you save the table one more time? That girl. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? I see she's been wanting to say that this whole time, this whole day. Victoria needs to keep it cute. Well, Max, since you've ca- The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you yeah. actually finish reading the assigned Victoria. chapters. Max is so far She's way so rude. ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero.
Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do... Excuse me. Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Victoria. That's what I thought. She's so rude. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that ever thing down! Tell me what to ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick! I need a hammer to break it open. Tell me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. I need a hammer to break it open. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. What does that mean? Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Right. Get out of my face. What the hell wrong with him? Oh no. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he- You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm- I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? How Is are they just it? assuming she did something? Well, Max, talk to me. Ooh. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. 
I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. I don't care. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... Serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Great. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Um, no, because if I saw someone in the bathroom waving a gun around, um, I'm gonna go tell somebody. I don't care who they are, because they could walk into my classroom and shoot me and my classmates. No, of course I'm gonna tell. And if anybody dies, I'm gonna go home and tell my parents, and we're gonna sue. We're gonna sue, because you let that happen. That's crazy. Ugh. God, this is so cute. My hometown could never. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Miss Amber. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. What's wrong with having cameras? I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis Welcome and thrive. Now, before settlers. I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? I feel like I don't see anything wrong with having cameras on campus. In dorms, like, I'm sure the dorm halls, no, I'm not signing that. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Okay, Miss Grant, goodbye. No, I'm not signing that. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Let's explore the campus. Oh no, shoddy, not that cheetah print sweater. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Mm. No, he was rude. I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. 
If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. But Victoria... Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's close with Yale, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so inappropriate for a rumor to be going around like that. Insane. And if it, like... Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow... I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Alright. And judging based off how the principal reacted when I told him about Nathan, I'm assuming if he caught wind of a rumor about Mr. Jefferson and Rachel Amber, he wouldn't have done anything either. So irresponsible. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? Seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Oh, well. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? No. I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Oh, Hayden, Hayden's nice, but... Ew, what's that buzzing? Stop, ew. That was unnecessary, they didn't have to put that in the game <laughs> at all. Hey girl. Hi Brooke. Let me guess. 
You want to fly my drone? Oh, sure. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Give me the control. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Why is everybody at this school so disrespectful? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. I'd love to. This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. Oh. Oh well. Guess I can't change anything about the conversation. I want to fly the drone. Ciao. Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Oh. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay. That's so sad. Why don't you start drawing me? It's scary. Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. Oh. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Oh. Uh... Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check... Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh, my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Oh, just show me the damn pictures. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, man. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is... Mesmerizing. 
Oh. Seems like Rachel is friends with everyone. Do I ask questions about Rachel Amber? These photos are great. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Oh. That's sad. Alright, is there anyone else outside? Is there anyone else outdoors? Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or... You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Ew. Why are they so rude at this school? Yo, Justin. Check out the... I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skateboard shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> I have to laugh. I'm weak. She went to the picture. Mood. Alright. Time to go. Now we're going to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. How are you doing? Fantastic. <gasps> Her hair. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Nice, bro. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Are you a celebrity? Awesome! Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Yo, the people at this school are so disrespectful. Nice, bro! Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Nice! Now I have to go paint windows. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did Sweet. both at once, you know. She was like a battery. 
positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Samuel's a little odd. He's a little odd. Oh. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Nice. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Selfie hoe? What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake extra bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, it was not that funny. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social media. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Whoa. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. That's what you get. You should have moved. She looks like a pissed off wet cat. And she's still stylish. Samuel is way too close. Okay, let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Get Sorry. the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Period. Oh, look no. at your sweater. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Period. Get crazy. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. No. And no filter needed before I post this. 
Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Sorry, Max. When the person like me is playing and making your decisions for you, we don't do disrespects. You're not gonna talk to me crazy. And she has that selfie of you. Trailer is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Oh. Which room is yours? We'll bang for Jesus. Ew. The universal symbol for please leave me alone, asshole. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told him some t tall tales about a Blackwood honor student. Is this true? The principal said that this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> like. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton. The greatest. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Yes. 
Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I look so pathetic. Mm -hmm. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Mm -hmm. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. I do feel like reading this one out loud. I read them out loud from this one. <laughs> Souls. Okay, what am I here to get? <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I'll borrow your drive so I can watch and flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. All right, so she has it. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I forgot where Dana lived. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet. So hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she you do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ooh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to and you. Why, how are you negatively What's impacted my last by name? that? Julia Patson. Juliet Pat. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Why do I need to know your last name? Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've watched. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Matt, I, swear I believe you, girl. Okay, I rewind too fast. I have to wait for them to finish speaking before I start rewinding the time. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Mm -hmm.
Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. <laughs> That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Friend, 857, 1,126 subscribers. Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. What's your printer? Oh. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Is there anything else in here we can go through? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Oh, rejection emails. I'm triggered. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. <laughs> hmm, a pattern is emerging. Mood. Victoria and I have beef, so I'm gonna continue to mess with her because she disrespects me. Period, Max. Period. Although I put this already, I don't remember a lot of it. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Thanks, girl. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I gotcha. Are you blushing? Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Girl. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Uh-oh! He didn't even say sorry. So rude. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. 
Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Yes, sir. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or Period. bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I like Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Girl, we are not scared of him. Do not worry about that. Don't talk to me crazy. Period. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm so screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. <laughs> Hang in there, Juliet. <laughs> See you around, Max. You know, Warren is thirsty. Stop thirsting. Come on, son. Where's he at? Is anyone else in the parking lot? Come on over here, please. Relax, Warren. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop, cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. 
I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds oh, awful funny. the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Or... Answer me, bitch! Oh, no. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Ooh. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, oh, go, oh, I got this. Ooh. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Oh God. Oh, or Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. No said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. That's awkward. Why did she call her? Wow, 
Wow, I haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Mm -hmm. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Where's your radio, girl? It won't play without any power. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. We had such a blast drawing these together. She still has things from five years ago. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass of snow dough. Thanks. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Just putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now. When did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? 
Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Oh. Poor Chloe. Max, why didn't you hit her up in five years? That's so grimy. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? The tools are still downstairs. Oh. You don't have to be rude. This town is just filled with rude people. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. It seems like forever. Told me you saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous, and you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Nothing. This is so lame. This is so lame. <laughs> Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Shit! Butterfingers! What the? 
Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Wait, was there something on the door? Oh. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Mad skills, Max. How do I clean this I've got puddle the tools. off the ground? I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. How do I clean the puddle? I want to see the fire. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Paper towel or something. No, just a. Uh... Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. No, I want to see those files before I do anything else. How do I go about not... Do I probably... Who's in here? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I wonder what's in those files up there. No, it's just gonna fall again. Alright, I guess there's nothing I can do to stop that. Alright. I'm sure. Oh man, I'll always make them fall. to read the files. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I 
can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now you tell me the truth, Max. Life. Girl. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Where? Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Turn it off! Turn it off! How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill! I'm changing! Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm coming. what are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Me? I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah. Combat, we'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. I'm not a, Who's she's not a soldier. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! 
Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. <gasps> Chloe, I'm no. sorry. No, 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 no. I care about your mother, and you no. just keep pushing me. No, no. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, He's disgusting. someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Nah. Girl, that wouldn't have done anything. That definitely wouldn't have helped. Oh, he hit her. I hate him. Disgusting. I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. I'm sorry I wussed out. No worries. I know my step dork can be scary. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed I should have stepped in. I should have stepped in. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing you didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So 
So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Chloe, you're here. 
I'm back. Oh, my Lord, this is real. It's real. Oh, man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Okay, that was episode one. Um, I'm excited to play this game again, but I'm also not ready because this game is an emotional roller coaster. Great soundtrack, by the way. Love it. All right, but we're gonna post this tomorrow. And yeah, stay tuned to this series. Um, I think I wanna post... I'm gonna... I actually don't know how frequently I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna finish it fairly, like, fairly frequently, you know? Alright. Bye! Stay tuned!